So you wanted to make a slideshow image clickable into Shopify. I'm going to be showing you how to do this in a very easy way. The very first thing I wanted to do is to, of course, uh, leave you the link down below the description so we can all get started totally for free. So once you are already here inside Shopify, what I wanted to do is to focus directly into the themes and into customize. Inside themes, what I wanted to do is to go directly here into customize and get started with a very easy way for the actual slideshow. Uh, what I wanted to do, of course, is to focus into the place that I wanted to create my actual slideshow section. And here, in this case, what I'm going to be doing here is to add a new section. And now here you can see that we have this slideshow. So what I'm going to be doing here is to choose this option that says slideshow. Inside here, this is slideshow, you can see that we have the image slide. Uh, image slide 2 and image slide number 3. So here, what I want to be doing here is to add an image in order to create the actual slide. So in this case, I'm going to go explore the free images. Let's say, for example, to go for some sneakers. So I choose this option, I hit to select, and there we go. So this is how it should be looking my actual image slide. Now, as you can see here, it's like the how it should be looking our actual images as an actual slide. If you wanted to change the animation of the slide, so you just clicked in the, and you can see this one looks as a full width, as an actual growth. The slide height could be, let's say, larger, or the painting style could be from dots, or the count dust, or for numbers, that would be totally up to you. So once you have done this, you can even have the auto rotate slides if you wanted to. Change slide every, I don't know, maybe three seconds, and the image behavior is the ambient movement. So now what I'm going to be doing here is to just delete those elements, the slideshow description. And of course, what I'm going to do here is to upgrade here the elements that will appear here into my image slide. So I'm going to click into my image slide, and you can see that we have the actual top heading. We have the subheading, and that will be actually it. I'm going to don't show the container into the desktop, and of course, focus into the bottom link. Now, into the bottom link, I'm going to send this for the collections and the sneakers. If you wanted to, of course, delete this subheading and the heading, it could be looking like this. So here into the bottom label, you just change the title for sneakers. Now this one, the button link should be sending me from collections into, in this case, my premium t-shirts. And uh, here I can use outline button and don't show the container of the desktop. And the image will be a positive you can change this if you want to. But in my case, actually, this one looks great. Now I'm going to hit it to save, and then we're actually good to go. If I click into the shirts, this one should be uh, sending me directly into my premium shirts. If I clicked into the other section, it's going to be sending me directly into all the sneakers. So that's how you can add an actual clickable elements here. If you wanted to do this without the actual um, this actual element, what you can do is to try to add an image, a clickable image, not per se an actual slideshow, but only one image clickable. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description of this actual coding because this code, what I want to do is to copy this code so we can paste that into the schema. So I'm going to copy this code. And I'm going to scroll a little bit down and add a new section. Instead of the slideshow, I'm going to go and only add an image banner. Inside this image banner, what I'm going to be choosing here is to delete the heading and delete this stuff, the buttons, the heading, only the actual pure image. And I choose to add a first image. In this case, it would be this one. You can select a second image if you wanted to and go for done. Now here, what I'm going to be doing here is to select a new element. Here it should be appearing in actual linked section. If you don't see it, that's the reason why what I want to do is to copy the code that I just gave you. So first of all, we need to save this element. Let's go into the exit one, three dots. Instead of customize, let's go and edit the code. Inside here, what I'm going to be choosing here is to select image. Inside image, go for image banner. Inside the image banner, I'm going to select all the schema and replace it with the schema that we have just copied from the page that I just gave you. Now we can go back, customize once again our store, and inside the store, if you go directly into the image banner that you have just uh, created, 
you should see that you now have the element that says linked. Which that means that I can use this element to send people into my collections, in my case for sneakers. And I go for save. Now I'm going to go for the three dots and go for view. This is the part which you wanted to make sure that this one actually saved it and actually worked it. So after adding the links to your slideshow images, don't forget to save your changes. Once you have saved it, preview the store and ensure the clickable image function as expected. So we can test its links to confirm this directly uh, uses to desired destinations. And whatever part of the image, you can see that this one actually sent me directly into my sneakers. And there you have it guys, you have successfully made your slideshow images clickable into the Shopify store. Whether you are promoting products, collections, or special offers clickable to slideshow image can enhance user experience and of course making this much more fun. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Shopify tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching the video, hopefully guys, with all that being said, we can see you into a brand new section of TechPress. See you next time!